Hey, good morning. Welcome back. 1 Samuel 17 and verses 32 to 37. Then David said to Saul, Let no man's heart fail because of him. Your servant will go and fight with this Philistine. And Saul said to David, You are not able to go against this Philistine to fight with him, for you are a youth, and he is a man of war from his youth. But David said to Saul, Your servant used to keep his father's sheep. And when a lion or bear came and took a lamb out of the flock, I went out after it and struck it and delivered the lamb from its mouth. And when it arose against me, I caught it by its beard and struck it and killed it. Your servant has killed both lion and bear, and this uncircumcised Philistine will be like one of them, seeing he has defied the armies of the living God. Moreover, David said, The Lord who delivered me from the paw of the lion and from the paw of the bear, he will deliver me from the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said to David, Go, and the Lord be with you. So David talks him into it. First of all, Saul says, you can't do this. <laughs> this is outside the, the realm of the box. It's outside the box of possibilities. You know, you're, you're a young person. You're not trained so much in war. Basically, Goliath has got them psyched out. They're afraid to death of him. But David's not psyched out. David, and David relies on a past experience, an experience in which God was with him when he delivered these little animals that he was watching over. God was with him, and he was bold. And out there, he was doing bold things. He was training for future things of greatness, even though I'm sure that never crossed his mind. And now here he is, and he actually talks Saul into it. What does Saul have to lose? If I send out David and, and we still won't surrender, you know, Saul gets to sit back and let David do the fighting. I mean, what does Saul have to lose? And if David wins, then his side wins. So he finally relents and lets him go. Go ahead and... David is not playing a game here. David's quite serious. He's ready to go. God delivered me this time. God delivered me this time. God delivered me this time. And God's going to deliver me this time. That's what's in David's heart. Is that what's in our heart? That we have a string of experiences in which we have fought spiritual fights. We have sought the kingdom. We've sought God's things. We've laid into a battle spiritually in the strength of the Lord Jesus and won victoriously. And maybe we have a string of three or four of those in mind. And now we face a big giant issue. What This is what where David is. He's He's been successful. God has been with him each time. And now he just knows that God will be with him this time. So he's going into the battle not overconfident. Just confident because he knows the one who's on his side. Maybe this is something that the other soldiers and even Saul was somewhat lacking. They were afraid to do something. David's not afraid to do something because he, because he has an experience with the Lord Jesus. You and I don't need to be afraid to do something as so long as we have a true experience with the Lord Jesus. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we need that true experience, just a simple day-by-day -day experience, following in your path, trusting in you, going your way, doing the things as you lead us. That's what we need, Lord, just day-by-day. -day. And when we come to a, a time of major testing, we'll be ready because you'll be ready. But if we don't take on these spiritual tests now, now when the going is so much easier for us, how will we do in the time of testing and trial? So, Lord, be our leader. Lead us not not to look for some big event, you know, in so many months or years. Help us each day just to follow you each day. And Lord, you'll be with us when whatever tests that are coming arrive. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. David is already there. David is confident because he has an experience with Jesus. David is ready to take on Goliath. So let's see tomorrow morning what comes next. God be with you today.